if you want to get yourself a ton of gold early game in Dragon's Dogma 2 with very, very little effort, then this is exactly what you should be doing. So step one, unlock Melv and Checkpoint Rest Town. They are here on the map. Step two, go to Melv and head to this store, which is here on the local map, and you're going to purchase from the guy inside. Three, buy the max amount of apples and grapes. Step four, go outside to the bench and doze off as many times as it takes to ripen the fruit. Step five, now go into the inn, which is literally opposite the store and talk to the owner and ask to organize your storage. Now you're going to sink all of your apples, grapes, ripe apples and ripe grapes into storage. The good news is whilst they're chilling in storage, they won't start rotting. So this guy clearly has access to a magic fridge or something, but you can store up to a hundred of each. So you can keep doing this process for quite some time. And because it's now a new day after dozing off, the shop will have more grapes and apples in stock. So head back in and buy the max amount again. You can do this process as many times as you want before the next step. Step six, now it's time to leave Melv and summon an ox cart. This cart will take you to Vernworth. Once you get there, just run to the west gate where there'll be another ox cart. Then hop on that and take it to Checkpoint Rest Town. Obviously you can click those off if you want to speed up this process. Then step eight, when you arrive, you need to find George. He's a traveling merchant and he'll be strolling around the area somewhere. If you can't find him in the town, you can always wait on a bench for a bit and he should show up. Once you find him, run over to the inn, take out your apples and grapes out of storage and then go sell them to George. You'll then notice that instead of selling for around 35 to 50 gold, the ripened fruit now sells for around 300 to 400, which is crazy. If you don't want to sell the unripened fruit to him, just go doze off on a bench with the remaining fruit in your bag and then go sell those to George for loads more than you would have gotten for the unripened fruit. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, pop a port crystal down in both locations and jump between the two. You can buy a bunch of fairy stones with your unlimited cash and just keep going. So have fun, subscribe or follow, depending on where you're watching this. And thanks for watching. Pleasure doing business with you.